to offer, then I want no part of it. But if there's more to it, I want that more. And for that, I'm willing to beat myself. Apostle Peter said, I'm willing to die daily. I'm willing to die daily so Christ can be fully formed in me so my presence can transform my city. My presence can confront and challenge darkness. My presence can convict sinners of their lifestyle. My presence in my city will cause nightclub to shut down. I don't know people will come to the church and get born again or they'll just go to another city because what? They can, they're no longer comfortable because the light emanating in me and through me makes the darkness in them uncomfortable so they can't bear it no more. They have to leave. We want to become like that, beloved. That you're walking down, these 40 days, you're walking down the street, you see someone in a wheelchair, you just look at them, rise up, and they rise up. And, you want to do that, my friend? Excuse me, I'll be right back. The purpose and the focus and the theme of this fast, beloved. So Christ can be fully formed in us. So we become an expression of the triune God made bodily. We study the nature, the characteristics, the attributes of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, till we become it. Mm. Study the seven spirits of God. Study the Beatitudes. Study the fruits of the spirits. Right. Yes. Those are the nature, the characteristics, and the attributes of God, of Jesus, of the Holy Spirit. Study those things until you become an embodiment, an expression. So our prayer points and our prayer focus will be the same thing. The same prayer we pray at the end of the year. There's no new prayers. We will become God. We are tired of being the so-called light of the world, but darkness is still progressing in my city. We are still being ruled by evil governors and mayors and senators. How come? And I'm the light of the world. How come darkness is ruling over me? Mm. I'm going to challenge you. We are the light of the world. So how come darkness is ruling over all and legislating law that we have to abide? Or we say we are the light of the world. Are we not tired with that nonsense? I will not provoke a challenge to do something. Mm -hmm. I mean, spiritually. Mm -hmm. All we can do is just talk about the latest law they have passed. My sub guilty of this, but I'm, I'm done with that nonsense. Mm. Because there's enough light shining in us. Those darkness supposed to flee. It's going to be dethroned. John Knox, remember the prayer of John Knox? He said, give me Scotland, at least I die. Give me Scotland, give me death. He wasn't praying because he wanted to be the prime minister. Is he prime minister? Whatever. Uh -huh. Well, Queen Mary of Scotland, she was beheaded. But before she died, she confessed. She said, there's a man, I could fear him, John Knox. And he wasn't a famous preacher. So how, how she knew who he was? That's when I was provoking and challenged me. I said, but he wasn't a well-known preacher. He was an ordinary person in his prayer closet like you and I. She didn't know him in the natural, but she knew him in the spirit. You see the difference? She didn't know him in the natural, but she knew him in the spirit because the devil said, I know Jesus, I know Paul, I know John Knox. She was known as a Jezebel for days. So in the spirit, she knew who John Knox was. In the natural, there's no way she could have known him. He was a, a, a nobody, a, a regular, average citizen. He didn't have a mega church, so maybe she knew him on TV. No. Study his life. He was a regular, ordinary nobody. But the Queen Mary knew him. How? Because the devil knows you. Mm. If your life poses a threat to his kingdom, oh, trust me, he's going to know you. Because he said, I know Peter, I know Paul, I know John Knox. That's why I said at the end of the year, prayer boot camp. I said, let's start watching all this video, what they're doing here. You see what they did. I treat the light of the world. Then our presence is supposed to chase those people out. So how come we are the light of the world and those people that were sharing the video, look what they did, what they did, how come they're ruling over the light? Why are they ruling over you? Why are evil, wicked politicians, mayor, senator, governor, president, prime minister, whatever title they have, Anthony Fauci, Bill Gates, 
whatever name they call themselves. CDC, UN, Big Pharma, whatever name they call themselves. The point is, how come they are ruling over you and you got the light? And all day you are spreading and propagating and evangelizing by spreading the video. See what they're doing next. You're evangelizing for them. But we are the light. When will your light shine to drive the darkness out of them or drive them out of power? Mm. I repeat, when will your light shine so bright that it will either drive the darkness out of them or drive them out of power? I repeat, when will the light in you shine so bright that it will drive the darkness out of them or drive them out of power? Mm. Isn't that the purpose of you Becoming the light of the world. Isn't that the purpose? You see? That's why I said no more uh, social media. Focus yourself. Challenge yourself. Keep provoking. Be challenged. Rebuke yourself. Judge yourself seriously. Say, I don't want this kind of complacent Christianity that I'm living here five years, 10 years, 20 years, and this governor or mayor or whoever it is is evil and it's still ruling over me. And I'm, I'm considered to be the light of the world. Something is wrong somewhere with that light. How bright is it or how dim is it? Because evidently it's not bright enough to change him, hmm. to affect his rulership. So then he's not a problem. I am. Yeah. And it's not, it's not by me talking all the time. Look what he's doing. Look, they have passed this law. Look what they're planning next. They're going to release this other virus. They're going to do this. They're going to mandate. It's not by me talking because we've been talking for how many years? What happened? They're still doing it. They're even still increasing while we're still talking. Isn't it time for some action? We're still talking. We still help to spread and, and evangelize their wickedness. You go make that kind of video now. You see, if, if I look if I get one hundred views, but well, let me talk about Corona and this. I get thousand millions of views. You see our problem, beloved. You know when you focus on our energy. We talk about quantum physics at the end of the year. Remember, you guys must go back and watch those videos. I beg of you. But you know when you focus your energy on. Seriously, whatever you focus your energy on. You are feeding it and giving it more life and giving it more power and authority to continue to grow and spread. So you watch any video. You finish watching it. You, some of you comment. Then you share it. The other person watch it, they comment, they share it. That's why evil and darkness is increasing because their focus, what you focus on, expands and grow. You see? Your attention, your energy, you are feeding it. So it's growing. And the devil in the background laughing. He said, I don't, I don't need, I don't have to recruit them. I just put one video out there and somebody, and they will help me to share and spread it. And we are spreading the, the devil's work. He said back that he's using us to evangelize for him. Because when you watch a video, say, well, they're they playing the next virus or they're going to do this. You watch it, you share it. And you, and you think you're doing something good. And then the next person share, share, share. Before you know that video have a million views or 500,000 views, whatever. And some people, their, their YouTube channel, their social media platform is to always, they tell you what's, they, 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 what the enemy is doing next. But they are Christian. Can we start focusing and propagating what is God doing next? Do we need another video to let us know how evil the devil is? Of all the videos we have watched in the past, if you don't watch another video for the next 20 years, are you going to be in darkness or what the devil is capable of? No, you don't need to. You said the wrong <laughs> Your focus now is okay. Now we know the devil is doing. What is God doing? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We know the, we know the devil. Huh? I said, what are we doing? Yes. We know what the devil and his children are planning for the future. But do you know what God and his children are planning for the future? You see our problem? Do we know? If we do and we find a video, then you help to spread it too. 
Because the more you spread something, the more you watch something, the more you engage your attention, your focus, your energy. You are giving that thing life and permission to expand and to grow and to spread. We find something negative, we're wrong, even though it's a, it's a Christian, they think, look what the enemy is doing. I don't need to know anymore. I've known enough. Number one, number two, there is nothing anybody will tell me. There is nothing anybody will tell me now that the devil is playing that will surprise me. I've made up my mind that nothing these people do surprise me anymore. So with that, with that being said, I don't need another video. I don't need another video. If you make up your mind that nothing these people do surprises you anymore, then you don't need another video. But if you are shocked, you watch this one, oh, you are shocked. Tomorrow another video comes, you are shocked. And you haven't made up your mind how evil the people are. That's your problem. That's, and you help to propagate it by spreading it. There's nothing you will tell me today that I will, I will shock, be shocked by these people. No. So because of that, I don't need another video to show me and to prove how evil they are because I made up my mind. There's no limit in their, their, their evilness. There's no limit to them how evil and diabolical they are. So I don't need another video to tell me. I don't need another video to tell me that. I do not. I'm talking so fast. Thank you. I don't need another video to tell me that. I don't. You should come to that conclusion that they are so evil, there's no limit. Nothing about them surprised me, so I don't need another video to confirm any. It's okay. I've seen enough in the past.